So hello everybody, this is Rupa from Curval.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a hierarchy using Power Query. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I have here a table that contains two columns, one with the hierarchy IDs and the other one with the hierarchy descriptions. In this hierarchy, in the one that I have here, there are three levels and each level is a specific number of digits. So level one is three, level two is four, level three is five. Obviously you probably have other hierarchies where you have like specific digits in front or so you will have to adapt the code a little bit. But for this case, it is like this. And what we want to achieve is, for example, these type of things like having a slicer where you can just drill down into the different types of hierarchy. You see the description. So how do you do that? To create hierarchies in Power BI or to work with hierarchies in Power BI, you actually need to transform the data and you need to have one column for each hierarchy level. Okay, so that is basically what we're going to, to do. Transform the data using Power Query so you can actually build this thing. And let me show you how it is done. It's actually fairly easy once you know how to do it, obviously, as always. Anyhow, we want to have one column for level one, one column for level two, one column for level three. So let's get building. We're going to do a custom column and we're going to say that because this hierarchy is built on number of digits, we're going to say if uh, text length and then we put the hierarchy and we say if text length is three, that means that then we're on uh, level one and what we want to have it on the hierarchy is the description not the code because you know users normally know descriptions not code so we're going to put the description of the hierarchy level one else we're going to put empty and this is going to be our level one and check what this does so it goes on every cell that has a length of three digits it just creates puts the description in there and we need to replicate that for the other two levels of the hierarchy. If you have more levels, you'll have to do it for each level. So we do exactly the same thing. This is going to be level two. I'm going to paste that. But here the difference is that the level two, it has to have four digits instead of three, four. So we just change that to four. And then we will get here is the level two. And then we do exactly the same for level three. So we put it there but here it is five digits if you want to find level three so here we put custom uh, level three there you go okay and remove the last parentheses okay so now we have level one level two level three and then you might think oh now it's easy you just go in there and do a fill down but you can't do it like this because you can see here Level one is fine, it does it correctly, but level two, 102, the level two, this should be empty, and this and this should be empty, and it is not because it's filling down everything. So we need to stop the fill down on the beginning of each new hierarchy. So it just fills down correctly. Let me show you. I actually show you some fill down techniques last week. So I'm going to put the, post the link down below. So I explained this technique in detail. So if I lost you or if you want to know more about fill down, check that video. Okay, so we are going to add to the if condition that we created before. So we go here, it says if hierarchy is four, then the description, but if level level one is not empty and that you write like that is not null then I don't know write anything one else empty so what this is going to do is to mark when the next hierarchy begins let me show you do you see here when the next hierarchy begins it puts an F, a one and when you feel down this description too will not fill this cell and not this one too and we need to do the exact same thing for here but here we need to do if oh sorry i have uh, taken away 
I am intelligent because I'm doing a lot of parkour work and it's slowing me down, so that's why you don't see anything popping up. Um, L2 is not null. Then one else null. You'll see now that the same goes with description 3. Description 3 should not feel down when the next hierarchy starts. You see? There. Now when I do feel down, it gets filled down properly and then the only thing that you need to do is to pick these two, go to replace values and replace one by null, and there you get the hierarchy. So now we have the correct hierarchy. We have description one, two and three. If we put this, we load this into Power BI, I'll show you that it now works perfectly. So if we go in there, this is our new table, we go to level one, put it as a slicer, and then we put level two and level three, and it will show us the descriptions. If you want to have the numbers, obviously, put the numbers. There are blanks, you know, that you can nowadays filter uh, blanks from these slicers, and now you get the right uh, filters in there. So it's as easy, easy as that. Now, I, this would be the part where I do a Power BI question. I, I actually miss in doing that. So you have to continue giving me ideas as to what we should do. I actually receive a a few comments that say, Ruth, how about, uh, you know, you make up Power BI questions so we can answer. And it is a great idea, but it would take me a lot of time. So if you want to help me, create Power BI questions that we can run here. Obviously, I will credit the person that comes up with a question. Um, I would be really, really happy to do it. We could actually do it on the Discord channel and then I will publish them here. So let me know what we do because we should do something. I miss it. I thought it was fun to do it. So yeah, anyhow, I will stop the video here. I will see you again on Wednesday as always. So stay home, stay safe and see you on Wednesday again. Enjoy your week. Bye.